So paint the picture of how bad it's become inside this Giants locker room. A lot of speculation this week about Ben McAdoo having lost the team. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the way this whole Dominic rogers Camardi thing played out, the drama played out, right? Like, Wednesday went in, had a heated discussion with Ben. Uh, ben then suspended him. He went into his locker, took a few belongings, left. Here's where it really gets interesting. After practice on Wednesday, Ben addressed the media and told the media that he suspended Dominic rogers Camardi, but the team didn't know. So now, I mean, you've Did covered, DRC know? Because I remember him telling Joe Cena, I'll be back tomorrow. You Okay, but yeah. you've, you've covered the NFL before. Can you imagine? You're all, you, know, you know how it works, especially in New York, man. You've got like, what, 40 media people all waiting to go in the locker room? And, and you know the question is all going to be about Dominic Rogers Cromarty, and this is a locker room where a lot of the guys didn't know. And so, and then on top of that, uh, Jesse Armstead, who's a special assistant with the Giants, he's been with them for a long sure. time, much respect in the locker room. Yeah. He addressed the team on Thursday, told him a little bit about what happened with Dominic Rogers Cromarty, gave him somewhat of a pep talk. Ben McAdoo did not address the team about Dominic Rogers Cromarty until today, told him that he was going to revisit the situation. And, and there's expectation that Dominic Rogers Cromarty is going to be back with the team uh, next week. Yeah, I think JPP but, said that was his but understanding. But the way that this yeah. whole thing was handled, yeah. there are players within that locker room who do feel that Ben has lost his locker room. All right. Sure. On top of that, I mean, let's really break it down. 0-5, yep. going to Denver. You know they're going to get their butts handed to them, Michael. On top of that, they come back. They have Seattle at MetLife. There's going to be empty seats. There's going to be a lot of booing fans. And one thing about the John, John Mayer and that, that family, very prideful. Loves football, hates losing. Yeah. That's when it's really going to get bad. All right. So if the bottom falls out, if it hasn't already fall out, mm -hmm. fall, fallen out, excuse me, what is the fallout? Um, and of course, we're talking about the future of the Giants, right? The, the thing is that Eli, there's, there's, there's been speculation about I mean, there's, Jacksonville, there's so many, there's McAdoo. So many, it's 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 an onion, mm -hmm. and let's we could sit here. I think we could do an entire show peeling this onion about what the Giants, what's going to happen. Job security, Ben McAdoo. I, Based, before this team became an infirmary, mm -hmm. uh, Ben McAdoo was having issues. I mean, there was talks about him not being the play caller, giving up the playbook. Um, he struggled with this offense. This team struggled. There was questions about his job security before all these injuries took place. You can't, I don't think you can, I don't think it's fair to point the finger solely on Ben McAdoo. You've got to look at this roster. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, Jerry Reese and this organization have not drafted right. well for the past few years. You've got a quarterback who's 36, 37. He's not very mobile. Right. Eric Flowers has been pretty much of a bust. So you don't have an offensive line that protects your quarterback. Uh, Eli Apple has not had a good season. There's so many question marks. Yeah. Odell Beckham Jr. wants to be the there highest player in the NFL. What do they do? Right. I think a lot of changes need to happen. I'll be surprised if Ben McAdoo and Jerry Reese are back next year.